Hello, you beautiful nerd, and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Mistledine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Legend of Dragoon video, and this one is going to be a big episode. In the previous two episodes, we tackled all of the optional bosses that we can do in the entire game. Specifically, in the last one, we tackled the hardest boss in the entirety of Legend of Dragoon in the entire world. We took on Magician Faust. I even included a no healing battle in there just for funsies. And it was great. It went so well. So if you haven't checked that video out, be sure to do that. In the last story episode, which is way more important, Lavitz. We got here to the Death City Mayfield. We found the spirit of Lavitz. We rescued him from the demon Zackwell. And with his very last power on Endeness, the last power that he had in this entire world. He used it to create a beam of light that will lead us to the signet sphere of the Death City Mayfield, the last one that remains. Very exciting. And in this episode, we are, of course, going to go check on the signet sphere and lead to the, the place where, you know, once we go there, that's it. No more can we do, which is actually a wonderful time to show you what I've done. Right off the bat, you'll see that my dart is level 60. Miranda is level 56. Kongle, 57. We also have Rose, 57. Hatchel, level 60. Albert, 57. And Miru, level 58. Uh, I didn't quite have time to max them out. Don't worry. We will be maxing them out before the end of the game. Uh, but uh, I didn't have time to do that. More importantly than all of that, I want to go ahead and show you guys my item list. Because this is where the, the power is, my friends. Armor of Legend. I have seven of them. Not only that, but I also have seven legend casts. Not only that, but I also have seven magical greaves, which are very good, by the way. Not only that, but I also have seven magical rings because they're pretty useful. I also have seven. Where is it? Wait, hang on. Phantom shields or actually six because technically on this file, I haven't challenged Faust. And I also bought some angel scarves and dragon shields. And I also have seven ultimate war gods. Now, look at how much gold I have. 160,000 gold with 202 played hours on this save file. Absolutely incredible. And we still have more to do. So I just wanted to go ahead and show that. Oh, and another thing I can show before we head into the point of no return is my additions. So you will notice that everybody, nine, 99 total for every single addition in the entire game. Absolutely wild. So we have maxed out, truly maxed out every single edition, which is just feels good. Anyways, as soon as we're ready, we are gonna go to the final place in the entire Legend of Dragoon. Once we go up, there will be no return. We are going. Yes, Lavitz showed us the way. I have no hesitation. Let's go. Yeah! And we'll jump into this river of souls as it leads us up through the Death City Mayfill into the last remaining Signet Sphere. Oh, but there's an item we can get. How exciting! Nice landing, Rose. Pretty dope. Right here, we can get a magic item, the Spectral Flash. Perfect. And finally, the Signet Sphere. And it's still intact, dude. Oh, we're fine. I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. It was safe. That Signet Sphere is the last barrier to protect the world. If it is destroyed... There will be no other way but to deal with God itself. When Shana crosses to the moon that never sets, the God of Destruction will be born. I won't let it. I'll finish it here. <laughs> I think so too. Dad? I'll finish the world here. Reveal yourself! I don't hide. <laughs> Our settlement is a peaceful one. We don't need weapons. 
A fight is not appropriate before the celebration of a birth. I won't let you. Oh, dragooning it up, Dart. Finish the job. Or not, don't come near me. Dude, you only had one SP? One dragoon level? I, I won't let you. Oh, okay, that's not, ow. The arrow has already been released. To the finale of the world. Oh, uh, no. The moon is falling. Uh, the, the, the world is ending. Does that mean that humans cannot revoke the will of the creator? Not yet. Don't give up. It's just the signet of the moon is broken. Yes. We can still struggle. The moon has not obtained Shauna yet. Let's go pursue Zeke. Yeah, team! The last signet sphere has been destroyed. The moon is plummeting towards the planet. Is this a dead end? Absolutely not, my friends, because we have the wings of Savan. The wings of Savan. It is no longer a newborn. It has had time to grow, and it can actually now fly into Mayfill and take us to the moon. Here we go towards the moon that never sets. Guys, you are in for a treat. Enjoy one of the best FMVs in the entire game. You gotta love the voice acting, right?
Everything is turning out just as Zeke wished. The seal of the moon was broken, and the terribly disastrous plan laid by Soa finally has started. Those virages are mere advance guards for the primary virage embryo. It seems the birth of the God of Destruction will only be a matter of time. Not if we can help it. That's right. The moon has plummeted to the divine tree. The place where all life on Endeness began. Does the divine tree which gave birth to all the species want this as well? The world is not over yet. We can still fight to save it, can't we? After you've seen those, you still can say that. Let's go. The moon that never sets is waiting for us. You're gosh darn too, and it is so. Right here, you can save, and you might want to. Uh, but if you do, just keep in mind that that's it. That is the point of no return. So I'd recommend maybe having a second save file. Anyways, let's continue into the Divine Tree. One of the last areas that we will go to in the entirety of the Legend of Dragoon. This is wild, guys. This is it. Only a couple more episodes remain. And if we come up here, there's actually a very hidden sparkle that we can pick up a Phoenix Plume. Thank you, Phoenix Plume which is, of course, a headpiece. We've gotten a couple of those. And we also can get into some random encounters here in just a second. Figure I should show you all of those because one of them is superly duperly important. But first, what's this? Rose, uh, what is this? It's a fruit of the divine tree. It seems to be dried up, though. Fruit? Did all the species really arise from such small things? Only the creator Soa knows that. So it's just a legend for us. But we are standing on the divine tree, which supposedly was in the same legend. We'd better believe it. I guess so. Let's move on. We better hurry up or there will be no one even to tell the legend. Yeah, I guess that's true. We don't need to hurry that fast. We can go ahead and show some of the random encounters that we can find here in the Divine Tree. And this right here is the Manticore, which is a darkness-based enemy with about 960 health and can be absolutely decimated with a Psych Bomb X. Goodbye. <laughs> These guys have a 8% chance of dropping a Depetrifier, which is good because they do have a chance of Depetrifying you as well. Or not Depetrifying you, a chance of Petrifying you. Of course, we can use the Psych Bomb X always to just easily clear these random encounters. That's why the Psych Bomb X is like a mandatory thing for you to get in this game. It just, it makes these so easy. Also, the experience is pretty good in this area. That was just the first of the enemies that we can find here in the Divine Tree, and we'll just continue forward. Trust me, I'm sure we'll be seeing a few more. Look at this. Virage is flying off. They look so small, but it's just that they're so far away. This place is huge. Anyways, we can get to a random encounter right here. There's also a sparkle that we need to check for some extra dialogue. Let's hope for something new. And we get the slug enemy. These things are ugly. <laughs> they are earth-based elementals with about 1,200 health, and they have a 10% chance of dropping a mind purifier. These guys, if you're doing a no items and no dragoon form run, these guys can literally ruin your entire run because they can do the arm blocking status, uh, meaning that you just have to flee. Like, you have no choice, right? Uh, but I think we can finish these off. They shouldn't do too much. They'll actually just completely miss Kongle. You don't have to worry about no slug. And, of course, just like everything else here, you could just use the Psych Bomb X, and that'll end any random encounter. I think this fruit was shed by some kind of fish. One of the fruits arisen from the Divine Tree. Yes, it was the same for us humans. The God of Destruction will start the same way. Won't it? Yes. Let's move on. Interesting. So if it starts small, then potentially we have a chance of killing it. But of course, that would mean that Shauna is also killed, right? I don't know. Maybe not good. Look at this map! Oh, all the virages flying all over. It's a big old... Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. 
And let's hope for the real enemy that we want here. One that, if you're like me, you're going to spend hours farming. Whoop, there it is. That right there in the center, the purple thing is called a cute cat. That is a thunder elemental enemy with 700 health and has a 2% chance of dropping, get this, the dancer's shoes which is the only way that you can get more of them is by farming these cute cats and you know what i'm feeling lucky i bet you we're gonna get some right in this fight the cute cat can also use can't combat status afflicting moves like the one hot one shot kills uh and then we also have these mountain apes which are also uh earth elementals with about a thousand health incredibly low magic defense and have a 10 percent chance of dropping an angel's prayer those guys can be kind of annoying, but I don't think you're going to struggle at all with them. In fact, we'll just leave a Psych Bomb X at 144 so you can see how much damage it does with Dart using it. 6,000 damage to those guys absolutely decimates this fight. And of course, I don't get any Dancer's Shoes because the game hates me. And let's move on. This stream... It seems like it is sending a vital force to the moon that never sets. It must be that the divine tree is getting ready to give birth to the god of destruction. Then, if we take this stream in this... Yes, it will carry us to the top. Let's hurry. Nice! I love easy skips, man. Also, this next part just makes me giggle. <laughs> Listen. It's just so ridiculous. Cannonball! <laughs> ready? Ready? What a stream! That's what my viewers say every day on twitch.tv slash online. Kongle, he's just a little bit slower. <laughs> nice landing. Wow, you guys are good. We got right up close. In addition, maybe because we let ourselves flow in the vital force, I feel revitalized. It means that the power of the divine tree that gave birth to all species is still alive. In order to kill all the species, it revived the power. That's dark. Hey, we're missing some people. Oh, there's Miru. Hello. Landing succeeded. Ta! Boom! Oh, Kongol, big guy. Hey, what's that up there? What is that? A little bug. It looks like a like a bug. Did Kongol's landing awaken it? Huh. Nice job, Kongol. I hope we don't have to deal with that. We gotta get going. Yeah, we do. Hey, I wonder what this sparkle is. Oh, no big deal. It's just the white silver dragon's armor. Oh! Which, of course, we're going to immediately equip on Miranda because trust she wants that. It's hello, delicious. Screw the armor of legend. You know what I'm saying? We got the silver GG armor. Nullifies damage due to light-based attacks. And hey, we're getting that at a really good point because the next boss fight actually hits with a lot of magic-based attacks. Also, this little pool over here, you can come and drink it and you will be fully healed. Which, remember when I was saying that thing about wanting to farm cute cats? Perfect place to do it because you're going to be getting healed. All you got to do is just walk back here. Look at how beautiful this area is. Oh. Ooh, another sparkle. Hello? This is one of the fruits, too. Yes, and all the species who were born in this way are about to be annihilated. Rose, uh, let's get going. Sure, but also, like, it's just kind of cool. Like, this is the place where all life began. Like, maybe we can take a moment to say hi. I don't know. I guess we should probably just save the world and stop getting into random encounters then. So we proceed to this map here, and we're actually given a save point here that I definitely recommend using because, well, we're getting to another point of no return. And this is the only place that you can actually find the cute cats. So I definitely recommend 
I definitely recommend farming some dancer shoes. You really only need two more of them from this spot here. But we want to head over here, and we're actually going to have a pretty cool boss fight coming up. One that's actually halted my runs in the past. Of course, it won't this time because I'm going to break it. But let me switch my party around a little bit here. This feels like a pretty good setup to me. Miranda, Miru, and Dart going in. I got no legend cast equipped, obviously. No uh, armor legend, nothing like that. But before we get into this boss fight, I want to go ahead and show you our last enemies that we can find here. The Pot Belly, which is also an earth-based elemental with about 560 health and can do a bunch of different status afflictions and has an 8% chance of dropping a he healing breeze. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to use Miru. She's going to cast her Psych Bomb X here and boom, that's it. Over, over. Those guys can be totally annoying. The boss of the divine tree. Hmm. It'll be soon. Yes, but look at that. Is that the caterpillar from back there? It's so pretty. That's much bigger than I thought it was. Hi, buddy. It's a miracle. There was an unhatched fruit left over. Uh, what? It is a subspecies of a new insect. It was just born and it's already coming after us. Well, I guess we have no choice but to take down the caterpillar. That's right, the first boss of the entire divine tree, the only boss of the divine tree, is in fact a caterpillar. Okay, sort of. It's actually a three-stage fight. The first stage is against the caterpillar right here that has about 6,000 health and has the ability to do some very annoying status afflictions that we don't want to deal with. We're going to right off the bat use Miranda to throw down a speed down. 6,000 health, no element whatsoever, which is good for us because I, my friends, picked up some big old beautiful... You know what? I was going to use a spark net, but instead I'm going to try to get a perky step out there. I always do that! <laughs> I get the counter and then I screw up. Miss. Beautiful. That would have poisoned us, of course. I equip the Soul Eater on Dart so that he's doing a little extra damage. Okay. Wow. I am sucking. There's the perky step I needed for 2,646 damage. Actually, might even be more than what I'm going to use now, which is a spark net on Caterpillar. Two hundred and thirty-two percent. That might be a bit overkill. Almost three thousand damage out of Miss Miranda. There we go into its second form, which is called Poopa. 2,500 health on this little guy. It's more of a transition stage than anything else. Now, here's the deal. We're actually going to go ahead and oop, not do that. That was, geez, what is going on with my additions today? I suck. So I would actually like to use Miranda's turn. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like Dart has a turn here. So, oh, this is tough. I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Now, I actually don't really want to get a Blazing Dynamo here because it's going to do too much damage. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. So, Miranda here is actually going to use a power up on herself. And Miru is going to take down Poopa. Uh, almost got Perky Step, but that is enough to put Poopa in the ground. But of course, as you would expect, we get a Butterfree. I mean, a Mago, the true boss of this fight with 12,000 health. Everything that you saw was just to lead up to this moment. 12,000 health, huge magic coming out of this thing. Uh, but we don't really have to worry about that. We're going to throw a power down on a Mago here. And we are going to spank this thing with a big Psych Bomb X as soon as it's Miranda's turn, which will be soon. We'll go ahead and speed her up. Yeah, Dart's getting a little low on health, but I'm not that worried. 
And Miranda with a Psych Bomb X. Two hundred and thirty-four percent, I believe, for nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. The damage cap. Miranda gets another turn right away. Again, this thing only has twelve thousand health. We have extra spark nets. Let's see if we can finish this in just Miranda's turn. Amago will never once attack us. Two hundred and thirty-six percent. That is overkill for four thousand damage. Goodbye, Amago. This thing could do a lot it does have a physical attack which isn't a big deal but it also has a light based attack that does pretty good damage a, a move called smoke of despair where uh it will actually do either stun poison or dispirit on you which is super annoying or even worse than all of that it will use triangle death which is a one hit ko ability lucky for us we were able to defeat it faster than it was even able to attack us once we get 300 gold for winning 13,000 experience a moon serenade a sun rhapsody and a healing rain all from that boss fight miru leveling up to level 59 we barely defeated it let's go we're almost at the moon okay but you know I, we did defeat it pretty handily. Anyways, for the sake of this episode, we are going to continue on. I'm actually going to re redo, like, reset the game after, but I don't want the episode to be too short, so we're going to continue a little bit more forward here. I got... I, listen, I got some dancer shoes that I got to that I gotta farm out, but I don't have time. Moon that never sets. It's spreading poison all over the world. Yeah, in the form of nasty virages, man. In order to stop the poison, we have to reach the core of the moon. Before it is too late. Unless Shauna and the core, as Rose says, are wedded, the, the god of destruction won't be born, right? I mean, that sounds like what we've heard. It is a dilemma for us because we want to take Shauna back. If we don't meet Shauna... And if we can destroy only the core of the moon, the world will be saved. But Sieg is here for sure, with Shauna. That is the only chance to save her. We will save both the world and Shauna. Fate is not in the hands of the creator. It is in our hands. We won't let Soa decide the fate of the world. That goes for Shauna's fate as well. We will decide our own fate. Yes, we will, my friends. So, like I said, this is a really good time to farm those cute cats. Make sure you get those dancer shoes. And when you're satisfied, we want to use this right here. But first, I want to show you this prompt that's over here that allows us to look up at the moon that never sets in the, the craters here that are spitting out virage after virage after virage on this unsuspecting planet. Hopefully, everyone's doing okay. Anyways, when you're ready, we want to head into this right here which is going to bring us all the way to the moon that never sets, the final area of the Legend of Dragoon. Inside the moon that never sets, all you can hear is the heartbeat of the Virage embryo. Is this the moon that never sets? Yes. It has been long, very... Let's get going. What, Rose? Anyways, look at how creepy this place is. And of course, there are new enemies that we can find only here. But we won't get into those just yet. Oh! The moon is shaking. Oh no. Are we too late? Don't tell me. The god of destruction is about to be born. It cannot be. The birth of the God of Destruction is our death. That's right. And we're still alive. Let's go. We must stop my father. Wow! What is this? 
Is this a forest? I thought we stepped into the moon. But indeed, this tree is a true tree. Oh no. Were we sent to the ground? No. Listen. It's the heartbeat of the Virage embryo, the god of destruction. <laughs> An empty body that is the living corpse from which the soul was taken out by ancient winglies on the day it was conceived in the divine tree. We must be in the moon. Then no matter what it looks like, we gotta keep going. Absolutely. Over here. Oh, what? There's nothing. What is this place? Anyways, we can pick up an item, which is a frozen jet magic item. Nice for us. And this is a forest that we will definitely get into another random encounter. Oh, this music. We haven't heard this since disc one, my friends. Look at the beauty of this place. It looks like a grassland. That's so weird. Here? Anyways, the first enemy that we can find in the moon that never sets is... Unicorns. Now, you'll actually be running into these a lot. They can heal themselves. Uh, they use a lot of light-based magic, which, of course, you know, Miranda's immune to. They have a 2% chance of dropping a healing rain. And like I said, they're light-based. They have 1,280 health. But we are us, so we can go ahead and use, you know, we can just finish any fight we want with the Psych Bomb. That's how easy this game is now. And you will be running into the unicorns quite a bit. 760. 760 experience from that easy, easy fight. If you still need to hit level 60, this might be a good place to do it. I love the sound of that heartbeat. What is this? So it goes right from grasslands to snow? What is, what is that? Oh, Miranda. Miranda, what's wrong? I know this place. Does it look like the forest of your home? Not only that, it is the forest of Milisesu where I grew up. I'll be back soon. Sorry, but wait for me here. There's something I have to check. Alone. Uh, Miranda, wait, Miranda! You can't just do that, dude. We're like in a, in the moon that just plummet and like, oh, geez. Oh. As I expected, this is the forest of my home. Why is this in the moon? This rose is... Mother, where are you going? Go home, Miranda. Uh, you have a kid? Um, yeah. Mother, don't go. Father's calling you. What are you gonna do? Because I married that man, my life has been completely ruined. He hardly works and drinks all the time with the money I earned. I don't even have enough food and am starving every day. I cannot stand it anymore. <sighs> a beautiful life must be waiting for me if I leave this forest. Yes. I can say farewell to this miserable life. Now, let's go. Oh. No, mother. What? Oh, the rose. What? Now, if you remember back in Ulara, we actually found out that Miranda hates roses. Uh, something about seeing them in the background whenever her mother beat her. Uh, so she obviously has a horrible relationship with roses. And this, my friends, is the Rose Crab Death Rose. A boss fight. A, this is the first of a series of boss fights that each character has to undergo a challenge, a character development, something on their own. And right there at a Death Rose, we just saw Absorb. And right off the bat on this, this enemy here, you obviously can't flee. You can't use your Dragoon. Nothing like that. No, 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 this real this requires the strength of characters. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to use the Psych Bomb X on this character on this Death Rose boss. Has 2400 health, no element, so this should go just fine. Yeah. 
you'll be seeing that we'll be using Psych Bomb X a lot on these fights. Boom, easy overkill, but that's not the entire fight. Nope, we gotta see this creepy thing first. Why? Why did you abandon dad and me? Miranda, I had no choice. Shut up. Dad fell ill and I became an orphan. You can never imagine how I have lived since then. Uh, it hurts. And now that this thing has no health, we actually just have to keep attacking until we are given a prompt. And that will end the fight. It's a, these are very story-based fights. Not very challenging. I understand that what I've done is unforgivable as a mother, but I want you to understand. What do you want me to understand? I worked because I didn't want you, a newborn baby, to starve. But he didn't even try to work. My father may not have been a respected man, but at least he was with me all the time, unlike you. It hurts. We'll attack again. This is the quickest way of doing this boss fight, by the way. Might not feel like it. Attack again till we get that prompt. I can imagine how angry you are at me, but I never forgot about you, even for a moment. Don't lie to me. It's not a lie. I visited him so many times to take you with me, but every time he just kicked me out. What? My mother was thinking about me? You have the same name as the goddess of Millie. She is pure and loved by everybody. I named you that because it was my wish for you. It hurts. What? This is new info for Miranda. She never knew that her mom ever came back for her. So we'll go ahead and guard here until we're given the next prompt. And here it is. I'm sorry to make you feel lonely, Miranda. Forgive me. And here's something that's actually kind of interesting. If you are not Dragoon level 5 yet with Miranda, you can actually say, no, I cannot forgive you. And you can just keep attacking. And that's how you can get, like, infinite SP. Because the battle will not end until you say, I'll forgive you. You can forgive me. Thank you, Miranda. And there you go. There you have it. The first of the character bosses is over. The Death Rose has been defeated. Miranda has some closure in her life. Hey, but by the way, you still get some XP for these, so that's worth it. A whopping 6,000. Mother, I was wrong. I entered the palace in order to preach love and to build a world where everybody can live happily. But my heart was filled with sorrow and hatred. And without knowing, I was absorbed in fighting in order to ease my loneliness. I didn't even try to understand my mother's pain and agony, just accumulate hatred and hurt many people. I don't deserve to be a sacred sister. Miranda, what happened? Hmm, are you really okay? Your eyes are all kind of watery. <laughs> Sorry, uh, please leave me alone. Um, let's go. That's the only thing we can do now. Oh, Miranda. And we'll have a chance to equip our party or deal with our party. We're not going to do that. Just we don't really need to worry about it. I will take Hatchel out, though, because he's level 60. He doesn't need to be in our party. Anyways, you can explore this area. There's nothing around here or anything, but I think it's just it's just cool that that exists. Of course, the heartbeat happening the entire time is pretty unsettling. Anyways, we'll have another random encounter here, and hopefully it's a new enemy. And it is! This is a swift dragon! Listen, this thing is a fire elemental with 968 health. Yup, that's it. So it can easily be destroyed. Has an 8% chance of dropping a burning wave. Yeah, yeah. I honestly don't even think it's like worth talking about this. I, literally, like you, you're going to be able to one-shot this thing with pretty much anybody. Anyways, we want to head down into this area and grab this chest here, which contains a downburst. I wonder if that'll be useful anytime soon. Look at the moon. Oh, what is this? We got to go forward anyway. It's like the, the organs of the moon. 
absolutely neat looking. And we want to go now this way. What? We know this music. Whoa. There are people. What's going on? Why are people living in the moon? I still don't know, but... Uh, Rose, what are you doing? You feel pain. It is certain this is not just an illusion. This world is reality. Hmm, indeed. I've never visited the moon before, but I cannot help but feel I know this place. People's faces, clothes, it's not a mistake. This is a building in Sergio. Mm, I've traveled all over the Endeness and they've typical Sertian faces. Look, the girl over there. Look, Sertian. Mm, no, she's not. It cannot be. Is that? <gasps> disappeared. Looks like that is reality here, too. What? Who was that? Anyways, we can actually go ahead and talk to people here. There is a hotel that we can we can stay the night. We are going to we can walk away. We can do whatever we want here. And also there is hello. I'm sitting in the most wealthy house in this town. Come on, I'll treat you to spirits. Well, don't worry about money. It's on me. I'm a rich man. <laughs> you are Dram, aren't you? Indeed. Do you know him? Yes. If he is my old acquaintance, this must be Bale 20 years ago. What? Wait, what? This is the guy that we had to give the thing, the, the, the spirits to so that he would leave and we could get into the... Do you remember? It was like he was like guarding the way. Man at weapon shop. Want to survive? Buy good weapons. There is actually a ton of new stuff that we can buy here, my friends. Uh, like a ton. We can now buy a Claymore. A Halbert, which we already have. A Basher, which is a pretty good mace for our dear, our dear uh, uh, Miru. And then the most powerful weapon in the game. Becomes powerful inversely to HP for Hatchel. This is the Destroyer Mace. The big deal with this one is that he becomes more powerful the lower health he is. In fact, he can easily be hitting the damage uh, cap with the Destroyer Mace equipped. It is absolutely crazy. Now, we can also buy the Red DG, the uh, JGG, and the Gold DG for the first time ever. We're going to go ahead and get that and equip it. The Violet nullifies damage due to Thunder-based attacks. We can go ahead and equip that one as well. The silver, we already have. Dark, we already have. Blue, we already have. But I thought I would point that out. You can also buy magical rings, spiritual rings, uh, attack badge, uh, guard badge, giganto ring. All of that you can now buy uh, here in the the weapon shop that is in the, I think the Claymore. Uh, we're going to buy that, but we don't want to equip it. So the Claymore is actually better than the fairy sword, but not quite as good as the... Um, if we go ahead and look at Dart here, he's got the Soul Eater equipped. So the the Claymore is actually uh, better, like I said, than the Fairy Sword by about five. You don't give get more SP, uh, and of course, it's just not as good as the Soul Eater. So I don't really recommend it. Now we can actually talk to this Imperial Guard here. A female is missing. Please look for her. Until we find her, this place is closed. So that's the way we have to go, but we can't go there yet because there's a female missing. This tune is... This tune is... Hmm. This is what Claire used to sing. This is what Dart's mom used to sing. That's the one that we heard in Fernie. Interesting. And we have an item shop here that we can go and buy some stuff. I'll show you what they have. You'll never guess the same things they always have. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, we don't need to buy anything here. 
And uh, that's going to be it for this episode, my friends, of The Legend of Dragoon. We probably only have potentially one to two more episodes, depending on how far we push the, la the, the next one. We'll see. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We're, I am going to be going back and farming as many dancer shoes as I can. Hopefully, I can do that. And I'd like to try to hit level 60 as soon as possible. So, anyways, we're going to continue on. We're going to chase that young woman, the female that went missing through that mirror over there. And maybe find out some more interesting things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to caterpillars. What? <laughs>